The Block Producer Scorecard, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Hi, I'm Leslie Haas, and this is EOS USA News. One of the interesting aspects of the EOS blockchain is the Block Producer election that takes place on a continual basis. Many different apps have been created to facilitate this vote. The election provides a certain level of security as the bad actors can easily be removed. So, when it comes to determining which block producers are scoring the most points from a technical point of view, turns out there's an app for that too. So, how does the EOS Nation block producer scorecard work? So, when you first register as a block producer, you're, you register your information file, a bp.json, out on the chain. And that provides all your generic information about who you are, what you do, all the nodes that you provide, things along that line. What EOS Nation does is it does some very intense technical checks on A, have you published the information, B, have you, you know, uh, met all the standards, what nodes are you providing, things along that line. Uh, they tend to generalize the scorecard into four main categories. The, the reg producer command, which is have you even signed up and thrown, thrown your hat in the ring and yes, I want to be a reg producer and try to uh, get on the list, so to say. Uh, so that'll give you a green check box if you've met all your, your prereq requirements. Okay. Uh, then gets into the organization uh, uh, category, which is more, uh, do you show your proof of ownership? Do you show your code of conduct? Uh, it Got also it. makes sure that your social media uh, handles and things that are all published out there, your WeChat, your GitHub, your Telegrams and all of that. Then you start to get into the endpoint category and that's really your API nodes, your P2P nodes, uh, all, all the services that the computers are providing for the world out there. And so it, that tends to be a much more difficult score uh, category to, to keep green per se because you've got lots of nodes out there, there's new versions constantly coming out, you know, so uh, you don't work. Yeah, you don't want a big red box or whatever saying nothing has been done, you have no nodes out there, but it's not uncommon to see a warning, one of your nodes is out of date or offline because you're working on getting it up to date. So, got it. so this is where the yellow might not be as bad correct, as correct. it seems. It's responding, but it's a version or two behind, which is still perfectly you know, acceptable for the chain. But hey, best case, you know, to have 100% green check mark, we want you to be the latest and greatest. Of on course. It. Got it. Then would be some of the, the newer initiatives is the on-chain information and it's really the next level of verification that they think. So Got it. It has really kind of expanded out the visibility for that fourth category and there are much, much, much less people that are able to get a green checkbox in that category just because they're changing things, they're, uh, you know, you reload a server, if your BP's offline, you're obviously not going to be green checkbox and stuff. So. If you're an EOS token holder and you want to review the technical performance of each block producer, you can check out the block producer scorecards at either EOS Nation or Aloha EOS. So thank you for explaining all that. You, you really broke it down well. Where does EOS USA stand in their scorecard? Like, what does that look like? Absolutely. So currently, we've pretty much got a green checkbox on the reg producer, a green checkbox on the organization. We do have a warning on one of our nodes because one of our nodes is 1.5 and I'm working on getting it to 1.6. And then the last piece is we do have a red checkbox on the on-chain because I'm trying to finalize all of our configurations before I finalize that copy on the chain. I'm also rebuilding the, the, B, uh, the block producer node with the heartbeat plugin. So that will ultimately answer some of the rest of those as well. So Got it. And it, it sounds like you've got a handle on this. Absolutely. Just making progress slowly but surely. I like it. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and leave your questions and comments below. For more EOS IO related information, visit our website at eosusa.news. My name is Leslie Haas. Thanks for watching.